let's look at one more algebraic identity okay and this is more around calculating a cube plus b cube okay now uh, we saw certain formulas earlier wherein we found out a plus b whole cube and in the results we saw that we got this a cube plus b cube right but there's another formula for arriving at a cube plus b cube okay and this is basically you have a plus b right multiplied by a square plus b square minus a b right the way you remember this formula is that a cube plus b cube you know this is something like a minus b whole square okay without a 2 here right and a plus b is basically representative of what sum you are applying here right now let us see how do we apply this let's say for example you had 2x plus 3y okay let's say you had a question 2x plus 3y into 4x square plus 9y square minus 12xy right and you were asked to solve this particular equation now if you notice this is something which is 2x so if I call 2x as a 4x square is what a square right if I call 3y as b 9y square is what is like b square and if you notice 12xy is what it's a multiple of 2x into 3y is how much 2 into 3 6xy into 2 okay so this is minus a b right which is nothing but actually this identity that we talked about so if this is the case then we know that this has to be equals to a cube plus b cube right my value of a is what 2x whole square plus b is what 3y sorry it's not whole square it's cube plus 3y cube right so 2x cube will give you 8x cube plus 3y cube will give you 27y cube right which is also the answer for this particular thing right let's take another question on this particular identity so let's say for example you had 0 0.5 x plus 0 0.8 y into let's say for example 0.25 x square plus 0 0.64 y square minus 0 0.40 x y okay now again let us compare this so let's say we say that 0.5 x is equal to a okay and 0.8 y is equal to b then 0.25x square is basically equal to a square plus 0.64y square is nothing but 0.8 square so it becomes b square minus 0.40xy x into y xy 0.5 into 8 is 0.40xy so this becomes ab right and again we know that this is equal to a cube plus b cube right so this becomes 0 0.5 x cube plus 0 0.8 y cube right so you've got x cube here so 5 cube is basically 125 since there's a decimal after there so when you multiply it three times there are three decimal places one two three point zero 
plus y into y cube, 8 cube will be 8 8 is 64, 64 into 8 is 512. Again, when you multiply 0 0.8 three times, so after decimal, there are three decimal places when taken together. So you put this as 0 0.512 y cube, which is the answer. Right? Again, I mean, when you look at the formula, it's easy. But when you get something out of the blue, then you really need to remember which formula has to be applied where or which identity is relevant where. Right?